Outrage tonight over a video on social media. It shows students from Assumption High School in Davenport participating in an insensitive act. A TikTok video shows a boy kneeling on another boy's neck. It seems to mimic the death of George Floyd at the hands of police. That is the top story for you at 6 o'clock. That post now shared on Facebook more than 400 times. Some parents and students are angry and want strong punishment for those involved. Local force Leah Sims joins us in the studio with the response to the video. Aaliyah. Jim, and this is a snippet from that video that has caused havoc on social media, many condemning the student's actions. I was able to speak to the student who shared the viral video on Facebook, and she tells me she wanted to bring light to a situation that is so offensive to many. I was just, I was shaking. I was just so mad about it. Tiana Williams is talking about this post that she reposted on her news feed. In the picture, it shows a student kneeling on the neck of another and a scene seemingly meant to recreate the death of George Floyd. Williams says she knew the students who were involved in the controversial video. I feel disappointed even though I wasn't close to them. And I know a lot of people who used to call them their friends, and they're ashamed. We received a message from one of our viewers saying the students involved were in study hall when the incident happened. One of them posting on social media apologizing for the video, saying in part, quote, we meant absolutely no shade. It really just sounded dumb, and it just seemed like they were doing it just because they had to, not because they were actually sorry. Parents were notified from the school via email regarding the situation. It's unclear if the students have received punishment, but posts online allude to the fact that the student's punishment is a Saturday detention. But that has Williams left thinking it isn't enough. I think they should be expelled, actually. They need to know that it is wrong because if they don't realize that, it will happen again. And I also called, emailed, and even visited the school to get a comment, but no one was willing to speak with me. I also reached out to the students involved, but have not heard back. In the studio, Aaliyah Sims, Local 4 News. Aaliyah, thank you. Local 4 News obtained the email the school sent to parents. The school addressed the situation, saying it's working with Davenport Police and will follow the department's guidance. The school says it has a team of people who monitor social media activity. Administrators also posted on the school's Facebook page, saying in part, we are working with the students directly involved in this situation, along with our entire student body, to promote healing, safety, compassion, mercy, and understanding. As Aliyah alluded to, one of the students has sent an apology on social media, saying, quote, We weren't thinking when we posted that video. We meant nothing to anybody. I am sincerely sorry, and we won't do anything close to that again. We have kept this conversation going online, so let us know your thoughts on this situation on our Facebook page, Local 4 News, WHBF.